Hello, this is Python Statistical, and in today's video, we're going to look at how to read in JSON data into a pandas data frame. So we're going to need to import pandas as PD, import requests, that is used in reading in the data from the URL that we're going to, you know, pull out. And then we need to import time. That's just to put in a pause in reading each stock because we don't want to look like a DDoS attack on the on their server. So first off, I've defined a function, read underscore ASX underscore stocks, and num underscore obs is the number of observations I want to read in from the Australian Stock Market Data website. So I have this uh, companies list. It's a comma delimited file with the company name and the Australian Stock Market Code, which is a three-digit letter, and sometimes will have numbers in it. Now, I downloaded this from the ASX Stock Market game. They have a download for all the 224 companies that are in the stock market game. So Pandas has a read underscore CSV method. So I'm using that to read that comma delimited file into a Pandas data frame called ASX underscore companies underscore game underscore list. Now the next step I do in lines 27 and 28 is I replace the forward slash character with no space. The reason I do that in uh, Linux, the forward slash is a special character, indicates another directory. So it has to be removed as this will cause an error when you try to save the data into an Excel spreadsheet in your nominated location. So to do that, we use the dot map method, and we use the lambda function, and then we use, so this will loop through all the uh, data frame rows, and we'll replace any forward slash with no character. So here is the list of companies in a common delimited file. And as you can see, we have two companies that have the forward slash in their name, which will need to be removed. Otherwise, it will cause an error when we try to save the stock price data in a Excel spreadsheet. In the next step, I set up a for loop that will cycle through those uh, companies. And I've used the zip function so that we will simultaneously go through each company name and each uh, ASX code for that company at the same time. And so to access that, the first one is codes zero, which is the ASX code, and the second one, codes one, is the company name. And so here in line 41, we can see that we've got sleep, and that sleep sleeps for one second. It's so that the ASX server doesn't think you're trying to do, mount a DDoS attack on them. So in the next step, I specify the URL. I've got the ASX three-digit code in the URL name, which is how it would be specified. And then I have the number of observations that I want added on to the end. So to do that, as you can see, I've just used plus signs to add that code into the URL. And it's specified in the for loop, so it'll grab each code and put that into the URL to read that specific stock market data for that company. Now, you 
may have noticed I've used the str function here. That's because I've specified it as a number, the number of observations, but it needs to be a string going into this URL, otherwise you'll get an error. Another option is to put a single quotes around that 100, and then it will be a string automatically, and you can just add it on, and it's, that should work as well. So there's two ways to actually do that. Now, line 48 is where we actually get that data from the URL, and we're telling Python uh, pandas that is in a JSON format. So all we have to do is dot JSON uh, and empty uh, open brackets, and request dot get URL will get that URL, and put that data into this data frame ASS underscore stock underscore price. Now, the next step we have to do is we need to read that the actual data from the dictionary. So that's why we're using the from underscore dit method. So that will actually pull out the actual data and put that back into our data frame. So this is what the data would look like if we didn't use the from underscore dit method. So here we have data is the key of our dictionary, and then we have all the data for that key. So after we do the from dip method, you can see that the data now looks a lot more usable. So the last step is to actually put it into an Excel spreadsheet. So to do that, we use the pandas to Excel method. And then I specify the location where I'm going to store those uh, spreadsheets. And in the file name, I include the company name and the ASX three-digit code and the number of observations that this spreadsheet will contain. So let's uh, run this code and we'll pull out the last 100 observations. So it's going through each company. I've only got three companies. I've you know, used a shortened list, so it doesn't take too long to pull out these companies. And there you go, it's done. So here are our, our uh, spreadsheets. I'll open Arden Leisure Group, and then I'll just make the columns uh, wide enough to see the column headings. Format, column, optimal, optimal width. Okay, so we have row number, the change in percent, change price, the close date, the close price, the code, the daily high price, the daily low price, and the volume. So that's our 100 observations in the spreadsheet. And you'll notice that uh, the change in percent is actually a string. So in the next video, I will show you how to convert that into a number so that we can plot it. Otherwise, if you try to plot the string, it will cause errors. So this brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And if you really like it, please subscribe to Python Statistical. Thank you for watching.